In 1994, an unusual revival began in a small church near the end of a runway at Toronto's Pearson International Airport, and it would soon draw the attention of people around the world. The revival became known as the Toronto Blessing, and today the church, now called Catch the Fire, is a growing family of churches worldwide. We're very focused that this has to keep going. Mm -hmm. This is God, and we're going. John Art is an incredible, empowering leader. He sees something in every single person. He's allowed people that would never get a chance in stepping up and leading and allowing them to, to experience the joy of serving the Lord. And we headed into our first conference um, in, in 1994 called Catch the Fire. There is a kingdom of love out there for you that you can have access to at whatever level you want. How many want more? Because of John Arnott's leadership, the, the Christian world has changed. People know about God as a loving father. The, the best thing is for you to be handed over to the Holy Spirit, to just be held by Him and loved by Him, even for a moment or, or for 10 minutes or for half an hour or, or, you know, maybe even for 12 hours. Now, people ask me, say, John, you and Carol, you guys go, 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 go. I mean, how do you do it? Well, to be honest, I keep thinking we're having fun. We're, we're just having the time of our life. The Holy Spirit stuff, it's joy unspeakable, full of glory, and the half has never yet been told. To them, 